Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? So, espero que estén teniendo un muy buen día y también un muy buen semana. I hope you're having a good day. How are you? How are you, my loves? So, listen, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm so excited about this. Like, I can't breathe. It's crazy. The the craziness of this DD case is like, I'm shook. Okay, I'm shook. In one of my other videos, actually, in one or two of my other videos, I briefly mentioned Jay Z. So if y'all have been keeping up with this story with me, with the DD case and everything that's been coming out on DD. I heard somewhere as I was doing the research, I heard somewhere that Jay-Z had a little some, some, some with uh, Dusty Didi. I heard somewhere that Jay-Z had a little some, 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 some with Dusty Didi. So in my videos, I said, look, I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, I don't want Jay-Z to come for me. So I'm not going to say nothing because the place and the, the places that I heard it from, they didn't really go in depth, like into it. They didn't really go super into it. They just kind of like mentioned it, throw it out there and, and kept going with the with the other stories. Um, they went in into it and the other stories, but they kind of like threw Jay-Z's name in there and was like, it's his name has come up. He might have done a little something, something, something with Dusty Didi. And then they went on to like talk about other things. So I was like, you know what? We'll see what comes out. We'll see what ends up coming out. Well, it's his name. Jay-Z's name just popped up, y'all. Jay-Z's name just popped up. <laughs> So it's all over the news. It turns out we were right. It turns out we were right. And on my other videos, I said the same thing. I said, well, Jay-Z's name keeps coming up. I don't know if Jay-Z is gay, if they had a something, something, something going on. I don't know. But his name, Jay-Z's name, keeps coming up in attachment with Didi. And we all know what Dusty Didi is about. We all know what Dusty Didi is about at this point, right? <laughs> Dusty Didi likes BBC. We all know that he likes BBC, BBC, BBC. We all know that he likes white fingernails. He likes the women to have their fingernails painted in white because he likes the contrast when they're holding certain things. I don't know why he doesn't paint his fingernails in white. If he likes it so much, paint your own fingernails in white and do it yourself. I mean, you, you're already doing it yourself. We know that. So paint your own fingernails in white. Instead of harassing people and harassing women. Anyway, so yes, y'all. Didi's name um, is now directly connected to this whole mess uh, along with Jay-Z's name. I meant Jay-Z. So Jay-Z's name is now directly connected to this whole mess along with Didi's name. Had to flip those around. So anyway, it is crazy. And guess who did it, y'all? Messy 50 Cent. 50 Cent is so messy. 50 Cent is so messy. Like, I bet you 50 Cent did this just because he wants to see if he can bring down Didi. If he can just, like, bring all of them down all at once. He just kind of, he's just so messy. Like, he wants to see how far this will go. Like, he's like, y'all think that's something? Let me tell y'all something else. Because I believe 50 Cent knows. And I believe that he, 50 Cent is like, he, he's not lying. He He's a troll and he messy, but he none of the stuff he posts, I don't think any of it is lies. I think they're all true. Okay. I think they are all true. I just think 50 Cent is messy. Like, why you bring up Jay-Z's name again and made sure that the spotlight was on this, this, this person? <laughs> so messy. So anyway, I think it's all true, undoubtedly. So Jay-Z, if you gay, just say so. Don't end up like Diddy. Like, y'all, you should have already been fussed up, Jay-Z. You should have fussed up a long time ago. The public 
uh, we are very forgiving, okay? Because you lied to us this whole time. That's not right. Why are you lying to us? Making it seem like you're something that you're not. And then you have a beard. Beyonce is very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing for Beyonce because you know Beyonce should know. She knows. She knows this, this guy and what he's doing behind the scenes. And she probably knows if he's gay. She probably knows if he's gay, she knows, you know? So it, it would have been better, Jay-Z, if you would have just come out the closet. If you would have just come out the closet a long time ago, because it's been a while since no one really cares if you choose to be gay or not, that's your problem. <laughs> what you choose to do, your problem, your business, no one cares. Now, when it becomes an issue is when you start lying to women about it and you start getting married to women, trying to have a beard, trying to like harass women and put them in these unsafe situations, especially without their consent. That's when it becomes a problem, Fifty um, Jay-Z. That's when it becomes a problem, Jay-Z. Not a good look, Jay-Z. Come out the closet, Jay-Z. <laughs> So anyway, y'all, we don't know. We don't know, like, if Jay-Z is in the closet. I, You know, if I had to guess, for sure, I think, I think that Jay-Z and Dusty Didi were doing and partaking in those FOs together, at least, at minimum, they were partaking in those FOs together. And I think that Jay-Z... And Didi, Dusty Didi, I think that Jay-Z and Dusty Didi, Jay-Z, if more stuff comes out on you, sir, we might have to start calling you just Dusty J J Dusty JJ. <laughs> That's going to be your name, Dusty JJ, depending on what comes out from here forward. If more stuff keeps coming out, you're you going to be Dusty JJ. You're going to have to be Dusty JJ. You're going to have to take that name. But I think Jay-Z and Dusty DD were definitely partaking in those efforts together. Okay. And I think that they've been done some things together. I don't think that Jay-Z is a stranger to intercourse with his same species. He might not classify himself as the specific category, but I don't think he's a stranger to it. And I think he might've done some something, 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 something with Dusty Didi. But that's just my opinion, my thoughts, my guess. If it comes out later, I'm going to crop this and I'm going to say, y'all, I told you so. But anyway, so let's see what's going on because the tea is just too piping hot. I had to get on here and I was like, you know what? You know what? This is not fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is not fair. Like literally. Okay. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Cause this is crazy. It's, it's, it's like really, really insane out here right now. All right, y'all. So tell me why 50 cent did this. <laughs> 50 cent. He's crazy. Y'all 50 cent has more smoke for Diddy after digging through his video archives. <laughs> oh my gosh. After months of trolling Diddy, first the accusations of being involved in Tupac's, Tupac's murder and more recently over the Bad Boy Records founder facing multiple allegations of SA and Grape, 50 went to Instagram with another joke. <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> Oh my God, what's wrong with Vinci Cent? He's so dumb. He doesn't even care either, <laughs> unapologetically. The 21 Questions rapper posted footage from the Scream Fest 2007, his joint tour with T.I., and in the clip, we see Diddy and Jay-Z performing alongside the tour headlines. Just as uh, Hove begins, or H.O.V. begins, his 2003 song, Encore, and Diddy is seen smacking HOV's backside several times. Hove's backside several times. <laughs> I watched this video. We're about to watch this video. 20 machine guns only get 10 months. Diddy in the back, patting on 
<laughs> Patent on on um ninjas butts. <laughs> Y'all, I can't. I cannot. Like, is this real right now? Is this for real right now? Like, I cannot. <sighs> okay. 50 Cent wrote in the caption referencing T.I.'s 2007 arrest on gun charges. Nah, I ain't with it. I ain't never been with it. Bars. LOL. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We're going to take him back. What you going to do? What you going to do for him, Jay? I want to take him back a little bit. Fuck. What's it, my nigga? You Put know this, this show is in the fucking city, nigga. Y'all, oh my gosh, that's funny. He's so messy, oh gosh. The caption's opening line also nods to G-Unit's 2008 song, You So Tough, where he subliminally accuses T.I. of being a police informant in exchange for a shortened sentence. I believe that. I think he's, I think 50 Cent is like putting everybody's business out there, but because he does it so much, people are just like, oh, here comes 50 Cent again. But I don't think any of the stuff he says is a lie. I think everything he says is true. But I think because he does it so much, people are like, here goes 50 Cent again, you know, out, outing someone and trolling them, you know. <laughs> Although 50's jabs at Diddy on social media have been relentless in the past two weeks. The rapper and mogul seemed to ease up post Thanksgiving when a second essay law lawsuit was filed against Diddy. Last Friday, Diddy was named in a third lawsuit under the New York Adult Survivors Act, <laughs> where a woman accused the artist and R&B singer Aaron Hall of taking turns graping her in either 1990 or 1991 days after the alleged incident the woman says that dusty dd came to her home and assaulted her y'all <laughs> i said that <laughs> oh my god they're just cracking up anyways y'all that's the latest news let me know what y'all think because this is just so crazy to me like oh my gosh this Dusty Diddy is going to bring so many people down with him. Like, you know, also, you know, Dusty Diddy said that only his mom and Jay-Z can call him by his birth name. Y'all want to see that? So that's why I think Jay-Z did something to him. And he looks up to Jay-Z a lot and probably thinks, you know how it's like mm -hmm. you have beta males and alpha males. He probably views Jay-Z as this super epic alpha male. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Jay-Z has done a little something, something, something with Dusty Didi. I would not, I wouldn't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. So Diddy says only his mom and Jay-Z are allowed to call him by his birth name. We call each other Sean. <laughs> what are y'all in a relationship? What's going on? Like, just like fess up already for real. <sighs> Dusty Diddy has revealed a very short list of people allowed to call him by his birth name, Sean. It, com it comprises only of his mom and fellow rapper, Jay-Z. We call each other Sean, he told James Corden. <laughs> Diddy has been known by many names over the years. Puffy, Puff, Puff, Puffy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, and most recently, L-O-V-E. Yeah, right. Now, most recently, Dusty Diddy. That's what he going. That's that's his that's his new name. That's the Didi. One name he rarely goes by, however, is his birth name, Sean Combs. That's because, of course, he's not really human. We all know that he's like the embodiment of everything evil. We know that. So obviously, having a human name wouldn't fit very well now, would it? Anyways, that's because um, only his mom and fellow rapper um, Jay Z, Dusty Jay Z, are allowed to address him as such. I was born puffy and then became PDD. The 53-year-old star told James that he's old, 53. <gasps> they get away with it for so long, y'all. They literally live their whole lives and get away with it for such a long time. Can you imagine we just now catching him and he's 53 years old and he's been doing this since like he was a teenager, getting away with all the stuff. Oh my God. 
they get away with it for so long before we finally catch them. The 50-year-old star told James Corden during his recent uh, appearance at Carpool Karaoke after the late after after the late late show host had asked him how he should be addressed. Then they called me uh, Dusty because I was so dusty. I changed the words to that <laughs> because he's making stuff up. He said, and then Dusty Didi, and then I became who I am now, Dusty Didi. <laughs> Y'all, quiz by Corden, why he failed to list Sean among his names. That's when Diddy replied, well, typically that's used by, you know, my mom, and I don't know when you're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, adding that Corden, uh, Corden wasn't approved to call him Sean. Sir, Dusty D, goodbye. Anyways, every, like anyone and everyone can call you that. What are you, you going to stop people from calling you by your name, sir? Goodbye. Okay. Corden then asked if there was anybody in the entertainment industry that he is allowed to call Sean. Good questions. There's only one person, and I call him Sean. That's Jay Z. <laughs> Dusty Diddy is so gay. Oh my God. He's like the gayest person ever. Like, <laughs> and if he would just fess up to it, no one would care. But the fact that he tries to hide it so much just makes him look so much worse, y'all. Like, I don't even understand. We call each other Sean. He added, Nobody else is allowed to call me Sean. There's not a single person outside my mother that should be calling me Sean. <gasps> In other news, the music mogul recently um, tricked Twitter into believing that he has to pay Sting 5000 per day for sampling. So this is something else. But yeah, y'all. So he, 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 he out here professing his love for Jay-Z. Only Jay-Z can call him that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Y'all, let's see what this is. I don't know what this is, but that title is like kind of crazy. I want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. The jig is finally up regarding Jay-Z's sexual orientation. The stunning news was revealed by 50 Cent during a recent interview with Big Boy's Neighborhood. During the now infamous interview, 50 claimed that Jay-Z's style and inspiration are far deeper than most people believe, claiming that Basquiat's style and demeanor inspired him to adopt some of the artist's signature features and mannerisms. Basquiat was a breakthrough artist from the 1980s who became famous for his graffiti-inspired paintings that were considerably more than just paintings as they addressed problems of race, class, and identity. The image itself as a gay painter. The okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Notwithstanding the fact that 50 Cent's comments were motivated by resentment over his exclusion from last year's Super Bowl halftime show, his assertions about Jay-Z wanting to replicate Basquiat are not as absurd as one might think. In actuality, Jay-Z has stated on numerous occasions that he desires to be like Basquiat, and this goes beyond simply imitating his distinctive hairdo. That goes far deeper than that. Jay-Z included a song titled Picasso Baby in his 2013 album Magna Carta Holy Grail, which made some rather blatant references to the late neo-expressionist artist. Jay in particular stated in his lyrics, I'm the new Jean-Michel. This is just one of many tributes to Basquiat in the song, as other members of Jay-Z's steam pay tribute to the artist on other tracks on the album. Frank Ocean sings precisely, I hope my black skin don't dirt this white tuxedo before the Basquiat show. Is there a limit to how much Jay-Z represented the late musician? Is Jay also claiming to be bisexual, as Gene was rumored to be? 50 Cent appears to have just provided us with the answers to these questions, claiming that Jay was leaning toward that point. Corey Holcomb, on the other hand, has claimed unequivocally that the 53-year-old rapper is gay. Jay-Z was mentioned by the American comedian during a podcast show about gay people in the entertainment world. De like you call them Decepticons. Right. What you call them. No. <laughs> it was real adaptive. Like Jay-Z. Like Jay-Z. But it was like Jay-Z. But it was like Jay-Z. But it was like Jay-Z.
If these allegations are true, is Beyonce also involved? Her actions show not only that she is aware of Jay-Z's ambition to imitate Basquiat, but also her everlasting support for him. As evidence, Beyonce sent Jay-Z a $35 million artwork by Jean-Michel Basquiat for his last birthday. Additionally, Beyonce has already expressed her support for Jay's passion for Basquiat. For example, Tiffany & Co. ran a campaign based on modern love in 2021, featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z against the backdrop of a Basquiat painting. Beyonce appears in the Tiffany campaign wearing a Balmain ensemble encrusted with black diamonds, evocative of Audrey Hepburn's attire in the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Meanwhile, Jay-Z is dressed in outfits reminiscent of Basquiat's appearance on the cover of New York Magazine in 1985. Notwithstanding the controversy surrounding the topic, Basquiat's influence on the hip-hop business is undeniable. Several hip-hop artists have cited Basquiat as a major source of inspiration, and his works continue to inspire and influence artists of all genres. However, fans have been divided over 50 Cent's claim that Jay-Z is attempting to emulate Basquiat. Other admirers agreed with 50 Cent's remarks, highlighting similarities between Jay and Z's Basquiat style. Some fans have pointed out that Basquiat's influence on hip-hop culture has been thoroughly documented, and it is not surprising that the artist's work has affected Jay-Z and many other artists. One supporter tweeted, 50 Cent claiming Jay-Z is trying to be like Basquiat is ridiculous. Jay-Z's style and image have evolved over the years and are clearly his own. Basquiat was a huge influence on hip-hop, but that doesn't mean every artist who draws inspiration from him is trying to copy him. A second added, I've always thought Jay-Z was trying to be like Basquiat. There are definitely similarities between their styles and image. It's not a bad thing, but it's clear that Basquiat was a major influence on Jay-Z's career. Yet, it is difficult to dismiss these claims, given that even his longtime partner Diddy has been accused of homosexuality. Diddy was accused of being gay in 2021 after praising Lil Nas X's sensuous performance at the BET Awards, which ended with a passionate kiss with a male backup dancer. The famed music producer turned to Twitter and expressed his support for Lil Nas X with a simple message that said, it was done by Lil Nas X, don't be afraid. Twitter users quickly identified him as gay and asked him to come out. A user wrote, Diddy wants to kiss Lil Nas X now. Be fearless, Diddy. Come out of the closet and show the world it's okay to be gay. Stop playing like you're not. Another added, Diddy definitely gay for that tweet. A third also waded in, tweeting, Diddy is gay, period, no debate. When Diddy added a verse to Blood Sugar's 2018 tune, Hope, Rumors about his sexuality began to swirl on the internet. His vocals appear in the song video during a scene in which two males are seen embracing each other. His lyrics went like, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved, but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I'm, but I'm like, scared to really really feel that you know it's like you want something but you don't know if you can handle it maybe one day i'll get over my fears and i'll receive former employees of p diddy's record company bad boy records filed a lawsuit against the mogul in 2017 saying that he had committed sexual harassment and caused a hostile work environment among the charges was that p diddy had asked a male colleague to shower with him additionally 50 cent appears to have made it his primary goal to characterize diddy as gay at every opportunity including during an appearance on The Breakfast Club. He doesn't even know what he says is like, fruity, 50 said, talking about Diddy. Attached is a charity that helps people who are in the closet and gotta move on, along with other resources, he wrote. Last year, Diddy released Gotta Go On, a song about his breakup with his longtime girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Ventura is currently married to her fitness coach, Alex Fine. The song, as the title suggests, focuses on the bad boy records mogul's desire to move on from their on-again, off-again romance, despite the fact that they split up four years Years ago, Cassie has since married her fitness instructor, Alex Fine, with whom she has two children and has moved on. Because the hip-hop music industry has always been dominated by men, it is frequently associated with masculinity and heterosexuality. The thought that a rapper may openly identify as gay has been met with opposition and even contempt, with many in the industry promoting the perception that being gay is a sign of weakness or inferiority. Yet there has been a movement in the hip-hop community in recent years, with more musicians publicly embracing their sexuality. Musicians like Frank Ocean, Tyler the Creator, and Lil Nas X have all come out as homosexual or bisexual and have received support from their fans and peers. What we're wondering now is whether this transformation in the industry was a ploy to assist the king of rap in coming out of the closet, or is he merely doing his best to encourage the homosexual sexual community through his portrayal of Basquiat. So, there concludes this video. Y'all! So they all gay. I've been saying it in all my videos. They're all gay. 
all the males in Hollywood are gay. So forget it. Even Jay Z is gay. Usher is gay. Um, Dusty Diddy. Oh, Dusty Diddy is like epically gay. Okay. Um, what's the even like? There's there's other ones I can't think of their names that have come up because of this whole Dusty Diddy case. They all gay. So ladies, leave these males alone. You see that they they're gay. It's even worse because the issue isn't really that they're gay, but the fact that they hide it and use women as their as objects, as their accessories and as their objects to do it is what's really disgusting. So no one cares if you want to be gay, do you YOLO, but do you don't drag other people into it. Don't drag women into it. But all they ever do is drag women into it. And you know, I think Jay, I think Beyonce knows. There's no way she don't. How wouldn't she know? How wouldn't she know that Jay Z is gay? I think Jay Z. I believe that Jay Z is gay. I believe he he gay. I think he gay. I really do. I really think he's gay. And I and I, I think their marriage it's probably more of a business venture, especially at this point. It might have not started that way, but at this point, I think it's definitely nothing more than a, a business union, which is smart, makes sense. It's better than most of the reasons for why people get married, <laughs> but that's what I think it is. Well, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to come to y'all with this tea. I couldn't keep it to myself. I was like, I got to turn on this camera because I am dead. Like for real. Okay. But let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video, um, smash that subscribe button and leave your comments below so I can see what it is that y'all are thinking. And I'll talk to you guys soon and catch y'all in the next one. Bye.